Yes, morning, my YouTube family. Right now, we're in um, Pennsylvania. Picking up a load going out to California. And, you know, kind of coming here early this morning. I didn't really have the hours to start running on it. So, might as well just stay back here and um, pretty much get some rest and get a fresh start on it today, you know. I don't got to be out there till the 10th, which we already know we could do that way before that. So I just got up back and I said, let, let me go secure my paperwork. Because I didn't do that this morning, which I should have done. Because, you know, sometimes driver error, dispatcher's errors, somebody take your load and, you, you know, you didn't check it out. So, of course, they gave it to somebody that probably was dispatched on the same load. So I said, let me go secure my paperwork, which that's what I did. Just secured it, got the bobtail parked up. But I said I'm kind of early. I still got like another four hours. So I said, let me get my exercise in and then walk around, look for this trailer. So when I decide to go try to find this trailer, I know exactly where it's at. I don't have to drive around, which I'm glad I did that because I thought it would have been in a, a particular spot where they have trailers, but it actually wasn't. So now I'm basically walking around looking for this trailer at this meat plant so big meat plant jbs you know how this jbs big meat plant you know so we hauling some meat man going over close to mexican border there you know what i mean but hey hey that's how it is right yeah so yeah i'm just looking for this trailer uh, you don't really see it it's nowhere in sight maybe over it's kind of getting cold too which will be like my summer this type of weather gonna be my summer because this is ac you know what i'm saying this is ac i stay cool versus in the summer like right now you know it's kind of hot in that truck because i don't really idle my truck once i stop i turn it off so i'm pretty much sweating in there like a sauna but you know hey in any humble beginning there's the struggles, you know, that, that's the sacrifice you have to make to earn more, you know, it's probably turning off your truck, not burning the diesel, you know, because if you look at it, diesel could add up to hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars at the end of the year. If I could save nine to 10 grand, you know, that's nine to 10 grand more than versus dumping it out in fuel, you know, so yeah, we're doing the best we can, you know, we're making it happen do what it do but that's the sacrifice you have to make you know three four years i could look back and say damn for all that sacrifice i did damn check me out now i'm in this huge super cab i mean big bed big fridge big everything you know big bathroom big shower you know cause we, we put in our time you know we put in our time to roll like this right now you know we didn't dump money out in the beginning trying to be comfortable you know because you, you try to be comfortable sometimes you're not gaining much, but sometimes you got to make a sacrifice to get things done to get it where you want it. But yeah, this trailer is really not finding. So hey, let me let me find this trailer. We're going to get up with y'all, you know? Man, you know, I, I passed this side, but I guess I didn't see the night logo. But look where the trailer is hiding. Right there. Well, we found our trailer. Incredible. Good thing I walked around this lot. Only to find him isolated over here. Yeah, that's why I didn't know. No night logos on there or nothing. It's supposed to be minus 10, see minus 5. So that's him right here. Yeah, way in the back somewhere over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we found it. Let me go back to the truck here now. Like he's leaning. Good. Always check your seal, man. Make sure the seal is right to the yellow lady. No wonder we didn't spot him. I'm looking for that knight in the front. Yeah, that tire is no good on thing. Well, Yes, we'll go back to the truck right now. So we secure a trailer. We know we trailer there. Yep, five one, five four seven. 
minus 10 said on cycle century okay and we're in about I know here overnight we like to continuous mode when it's meat product you know but we're gonna find out we're gonna investigate on that but anyway yeah I'm going back to the truck man we got our walk in too let me see we about to do 32 minutes 94 calories heart rate 81 one mile in 20 yeah one mile you know so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get back to the truck while I bring you some more detailed adventures on my update of getting back my truck yeah claiming that sucker with authority man yeah that's my first ride well, yes, my God family. Mode time we're back in the truck we found with trailer everything is decent but the trailer no we gotta scale it ah uh, we gotta go scale it we're going in california so you know the tandem law the 40 foot tandem law bridge law so we gotta make sure we're right this load was loaded right so now we gotta find a scale to go away but we'll figure that out but yeah i just wanted to give y'all an update you know since we picked up our truck and thought the fridge wasn't fixed but it wasn't fixed but reason why it's we found out you know we found out what they really done all the stuff that they've done to the truck the fridge is on back order so i won't probably get that till next home time which is somewhere in november you know so we ain't gonna worry about that i'm glad i brought my thermal cooler out big up to thermal cooler keeping my vegetables and fruits uh cool not too cold but cool enough to last versus the being in the hot truck and the heat just demolishing the water from out of the fruit or vegetable and it becomes so you know dried up as we could speak dried up so yes we just dropped our fourth load off yesterday in Milton PA you know dropped it off a fourth one since we picked up God mode we did four I would say day trips, daily drivers, you know what I'm saying? We started out in Lakeland around the um, 28th, 28th, from Lakeland to Georgia, outside of Atlanta, and then from Atlanta to Virginia, then from Virginia to Ohio, and then from Ohio back to PA, and now we on the fifth one, the fifth one, which is more loads than that since we got our truck. We'll give you a nice update on that. But we on the fifth one now, we're about to pick up and that's going clear across the West Coast, Southeast side, I would say, cause you're more close to the San Diego area, you know, running off of Phoenix, going down, you know, in, in Arizona and in, to the bottom of, you know, you gotta go across the border, I guess, but. I won't be pulling across the border, but maybe soon, you know, they'll open up the doors so we U.S. can actually bring it in also and see that side of life, like how, you know, Canada and Alaska is doing and, yeah, yo, you know, U.S. is going to Canada, U.S. is going to Mexico, not Mexico, but U.S. is going to Canada, U.S. is going to Alaska. So maybe one day U.S. will be going to Mexico, open up the borders, man, like, come on. Why is there restrictions and control on where you could go in the earth? Come on. We need to grow. We need to evolve. So, my family, I've been sweating my butt off in this truck. Refraining from running the AC. You know what I mean? Like, something that most drivers take for pleasure. But keeping that truck running, staying cool in the cab. I've been doing the opposite because why? Why? I want to see what kind of savings can I really accumulate by not running the truck. You know, we hear theories that people dump away nine, ten grand just by idling their truck. Hmm. Thousands of dollars just by idling their truck a year. So I'm saying if I could get to the point where I stop, my truck goes off. If it's le more than five minutes, my truck goes off turns off and guess what i stay in my truck like a sauna or i got the windows down but then when you got the flies 
It's so hard to keep those windows open. But I got to get a mesh. I see certain things that you could put and keep the flies out. So I got to invest in that. Any investment that's going to, you know, make it a little bit comfortable. We got to do. We got to do. We got to do. We got to do. But certain investments, I think, is a no-no. Decking out this truck is a no-no right now. I'm running this truck. I'm trying to earn the most profit with this truck. And could see if I could grow the business or pay off the truck fast. That's that's the goal here. So hey. So now we've been like it's been a sauna in here. I'm sweating my butt off, man. Like like the, when I was in basically Virginia, I was supposed to pick up a load, which was not really scheduled for that day, but scheduled for the following day. So I end up spending like 34 hours in this place. Woo! I mean, sweat everywhere. Probably lost a few pounds by all that sweat that was running off of me. But hey, would not turn on the truck to keep myself cool. I got out. I walked around. But the damn flies. So I don't know. You know, you let me know, my YouTube family. Can flies, where, how does flies start off? Do they start off like little maggot worms or something or little worms and... Like how a butterfly would start out like a little worm and then he becomes this little fly. How does a fly start off? How do YouTube that? I gotta check that out. Well, I found this crazy little critter in here. Like a little guy, you know, curled up and wobbling. Well, is that what I think it is? What the hell? You know, so that quickly he violated my space. Got rid of him though, of course. But he violated my space. Like, damn, what are you doing in here, man? But then I think, you know, these trucks go everywhere. We're parked in filth. We're parked in places that smell like doo-doo. So, I mean, what's around there on the earth? What's crawling up in the wheels and in the bunk and all over? So it's like, now I gotta really start looking at this truck a little bit different. Like at home, you know, you do whatever you do to keep the creatures out. So I gotta put like little stuff around here and make sure nothing comes in. And if they do come in past the, the bad line, they're eliminated, exterminated. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's our update, man. You know, five loads in so far. Well, the fifth one now, you know, we're heading to California. So yeah, this lease thing, it's been, it's been good. I ain't gonna lie. You know, that, that downtime that I had to do the prefixes, I think destroyed me a little bit. That's why it's so important to build a great big safety net which you know if i didn't have that i probably would have been really messed up so you know especially with a lease like this it's not a brand new truck so it's used truck so things are gonna happen but brand new truck you might could get away with a few things and your truck is gonna be running good right off the back but the used truck not a bad thing you just gotta save more you gotta put away for rainy days you know put back but you know the whole experiment for me is see what this business side can build me without Digging too deep in my personal side, if you know what I mean. But yeah, kind of what I was building kind of got mm, wiped out a little bit just to get me back up rolling. But then back right now building, and I'm like, if this truck could run all the way the way it is, probably till November, I could probably you know build a good seed, you know, seed of something like a stash in the basket to probably help grow the business, or you know, because like I said, I gotta figure out a way to pay myself, which, you know, I want to pay myself 2020, you know, give myself a, a salary or by mile and have it on the books so my business could be more legit amized, you know, not bootlegging the way I have it right now. It's a little bit because I'm mixing funds with the business and I'm mixing my personal life. Like, my personal life is bailing my business out right now. Really, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it did set up my business. It did create it all. But my personal side it's doing a lot of work in the business, which I want the business to do all the work, which, you know, we kind of had it running good. The business was building, but then we had to take from the person a little bit to, so he could upload a little bit. So we front him some money, you know, give him some money, you know, give Lewis Lane some money, you know, Lewis Lane a little money. So we're to invest in Lewis Lane. So, I mean, that's going to happen time to time, you know, but it's like, I got to get more accounts created so it don't seem like I'm co-mingling 
my personal with my business. Like I gotta set up my business where my business can stand on its own. My personal could stay over here, and it's no crossbreed like what I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? Like doing right now. But anyway, we back up and running. We're pushing through, and like I said, I, I I don't regret what I've done. I like it. I like the fact of not getting taxes out of my money, and I take care of Uncle Sam later or down the road. I always liked it, that model. Yes, I got myself in trouble previously before, as when I was a taxi driver, Uber driver. I didn't pay taxes. Like, I uh, didn't do the right thing. I was really co-mingling. I wasn't really running a business. I was just running it for myself, you know, just taking the money for myself and end up putting myself in trouble, you know, where I owe, you know, I owe, you know, I'm coming, I'm trying to dig myself out of the hole. Like I owe them and I got to pay them and I got to do the right thing. So in creating this business was to help my personal too, because the business is going to help my personal by just eliminate my personal life from the things that I do business wise and grow my business. So my business can kind of pick the personal guy up a little bit, you know what I mean? So that's it. That's the update. Stay tuned. Pre-trip your truck. Safety first. Number one, safety first. Pre-trip your truck. Catch me on the highway, the byway. And, hey, we can see you in another state, man. You know, keep trucking on. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the post notification for your next video. And, hey, king of the road. We'll be seeing you on the next upload. Out.